Hello everybody, welcome back to Chesty Trains. Um, Dick here from uh, Chestmere in Canada. Uh, was another episode uh, of uh, model trains and uh, was new trains and and trains uh, train problems this time and and uh, you know a really exciting set I was able to get and uh, just came in the mail and some other stuff and. Uh, I think uh, first of all I would like to thank everybody for uh, subscribing for uh, watching my video um, unbelievable numbers here one of my videos has reached over 300,000 views uh, I'm at 700 plus subscribers uh, so obviously um, you like uh, what you see and, and I'll try to keep it going uh, I notice especially the ICE videos uh, get a lot of attention and, and, and a lot of people like them um, so I definitely will keep making IC videos uh, and uh, you know that's a bit of the surprise at the end here too but uh, let's jump right in with some uh, train cars I bought and uh, some additions I have so uh, let's have a look yeah the few goodies for example Roko uh, hopper car from the Deutsche Bahn Bundesbahn actually still um, we have a real cargo Austria uh, sliding wall van. Uh, actually, article number is right there. Uh, we have a Nordwagon from the S yacht, the Swedish State Railway. Um, again, the sliding wall van. And I got two of these great guys, banana cars, banana transporting cars uh, from the Deutsche Bahn AG. These ones would be era six. So very, very modern. So I got two of those. And then an older tank car, SO tank car, uh, four axle. So very nice. So that was the six, those six cars. And also another uh, quartz sand hopper car side discharge car already a little bit older but it looks almost brand new uh, just the box is very old then this one here that's it's pr the car itself is unused but uh, the box sure has some shelf life but uh, very nice uh, I don't even know anymore was it Belgium or some SK uh, I'm not even 100% sure, but the trail on top of it for sure is from Belgium. Uh, and I also got a Lilliput uh, dining car from the uh, Deutsche Bundesbahn. Uh, or actually, it's I think it's a Metropa. Uh, yeah, Era 3 uh, Metropa car. Very nice. Uh, Schutzenwagen, like skirted coach from the 1930s. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, what I got from Trains and Such. And now I got to get it out of the way because also a locomotive came. And I'll show you that one right now. And here she comes, our surprise. A uh, big surprise to me too, I just found out. You can hear the noise. Class 151. There are all the new ooh, new freight cars. I like the new freight cars. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention these two. Those uh, telescoping hood wagons or cars. But yeah, here's all the uh, new freight cars on the new locomotive, which is not so new. When it goes a little bit faster, it's not so bad. Um, so gear doesn't have to catch up. But yeah, I just turned it over to show. Um, and uh, when I take it apart, I'll, I'll show it too. But essentially what happened is so, so all these axles are driven by a cardon shaft coming from both sides from the motor that sits in the middle. And you can tell here when you move one wheel, you know, the 
neighboring wheels will move with it because there's a certain amount of backlash on the gears. Now when I do that to this guy here, I can almost make a quarter turn before it's noticeable that this guy moves or this guy. So that means that on this axle, the uh, little gear that's on the axle is probably uh, broken. Um, that's a axle two with a traction tire. They're most commonly known for that, that the little gear breaks on them. So uh, yeah, so have to dig for some spare parts and see if I have some. If not, then uh, we'll have to get some off the internet, maybe even off Roku. I'm pretty sure they still supply those. I uh, haven't bought any in a while. haven't had this in a while. But, uh, I mean, about the locomotive used, it runs, but it doesn't run perfect. So we'll have to work a little bit on it. But my freight train, I'm super impressed with. I really like it. The cars all look really good. Um, they literally brand new, like the six that I bought from, or seven that I bought from the hobby store in Calgary anyways. I don't think they've seen much track time. Um, these two telescoping um, hood coaches, or, or cars, freight cars, uh, where they transport like steel coils and stuff in that have to be kept from the environment uh, for, for f further processing and other steel plants. Um, they look really good too. They have like these big yellow handles on there on this one anyways this one here uh, I don't know if it needs it if it's missing I have to look in the box But I do like the number one banana carrier in Europe um, into Frigo Frigio Air six cars, I guess that's what they look like today where they haul bananas from Spain uh, or southern Europe to uh, the northern part of Europe or all over Europe and uh, you know they kind of look cool bright yellow with the bananas on the green bananas on there um, yeah uh, let's see what else did I want to show you guys today hang on I'll uh, have to see so I have to fix that uh, class 151 um, Maybe in, in the future I can uh, show the video of it running without problems. And like I said, there was the another set that came, which I'm super, super excited about. Uh, I think all the uh, IC fans will be too. Let me show you. So this is, and you can see it up here, uh, the IC4 from Pico. Uh, it's called the Roadshow 2019. Uh, in the bottom here, there's a number 328 out of 444. So uh, what this is, uh, on the back too, uh, really cool. Oops, other way around. Explanation in uh, English of what the IC4 is and how it's put together and some of the specs. I'm just going to take the lid off here. Uh, to show you guys so uh, basically the base set of the IC4 but it comes with the uh, four-parted presentation uh, stand I'm back which are these plexiglass stick together um, bases uh, really nice they have grooves in there so you can put the IC on there uh, I obviously won't do that
um, what did the decoder for it? Unfortunately, it's an analog set. I didn't know I probably wouldn't have quite bit as much for it. Um, if I had known that it was analog, but uh, it's it's 328 out of 444. Uh, specialty of that I see is the printing on there. Again, it's a different road number as the Klima shots I have as the uh, as the other IC for I have the standard one I call it now and uh, and then the other thing is it has a name on there it's uh, Martin Luther the uh, the name on it on the car on the on the driving coaches there Martin Luther and the IC number is right down there uh, I put the black line on already which uh, normally um, Pico doesn't have, you know, some people say like, oh, Mark Lenz is way more detailed. It has this line on there and, uh, you know, it has a couple other more details that, uh, this one didn't quite have yet or, or Pico didn't have, uh, uh, as detailed. On the other hand, this one is full scale links. Mark Lenz still cuts everything off on the end in order to make it fit its tiny little radius on the metal track. So. I'm still the better fan of the Pico one. I don't need a pantograph that goes up and down on a push of a button. The sound in the Pico one, I think, is, is better than the uh, sound in the Marklin one. Um, but anyways, it's it's just preference. I'm, I'm a DC guy, and, um, you know, the Marklin guys are, you know, with their tiny little curves, they, you know, have to have something a little bit shorter, so it doesn't always leave the track. So, anyways, I love this set. I can't wait. I, I ordered the uh, decoder for it. <laughs> Again, there the problem is uh, it has a Pico decoder, a 20 pin Uhlenbock decoder. So I just gotta wait for the decoder to come. And uh, I'm also still hunting for the uh, sound uh, unit, the sound module, which uh, obviously is plugs and play or plug and play from, uh, from Pico. But uh, it's factory site, uh, sold out, so I can't get it through Hobby Tech here in Calgary. Um, as, it's, as it's not, he's not able to order it right now. So I'll have to find it somewhere in, in Germany in one of the model train stores. And order it and pay an arm and a leg for shipping, I guess. Um, but I want sound in it uh, in the long run, so I'll have to buy the sound decoder now the uh, regular decoder will allow me to have light in it I put the lighting kits in already um, I started putting people in so that it looks like there's somebody actually traveling in it just like I did in my other ICs I painted the tables I I uh, packed up the or I bought the uh, add-on set for the board restaurant and uh, prepped that already like paint wise and put lighting in so uh, it's just a matter of you know a couple of three weeks and then uh, I have to decode it and we can make a video of it running around the track here so you know I don't want to bore you with my talking I think the set is really cool I'm going to put it away uh, put some trains on the tracks and maybe have some trains to run through the camera to show a little bit of uh, uh, rail traffic see you in a sec
Okay, everybody, that's it for this video. I hope uh, you enjoyed the trains. I hope you enjoyed the uh, ICE. Um, thanks again for subscribing. Uh, come back next time.